A few years ago, I was talking to a very senior theatre teacher, someone who's well-known and respected, who teaches internationally, has published books, someone we would consider an elder in the artist-teacher community. He told me that he was in his 50s before he felt able to admit publicly during a workshop that he didn't have a formal acting qualification. He worried people would consider him a fraud. He's not the only one. I'm conducting interviews with artist teachers from around the world, asking them about their inspirations and the advice they have for other artist teachers, interviews I publish in the Firemakers community. And again and again, either on the record or off the record, we come up with this question of feeling like a fraud feeling like an imposter. I mean, I do too, regularly. It's not altogether a bad thing. Worrying that you are a fraud is about wanting to improve. You recognise that you don't know everything and you want to learn more, rather that than somebody who thinks they know everything. But when imposter syndrome becomes more powerful than a simple spur to action, well, it becomes a problem. It can paralyse you, stop you promoting your offer, stop you having the confidence to take your students on the journey that only you can take them on. It also stops you reflecting with clear eyes on what you have already achieved and how you might seek to improve. So what to do when you find imposter syndrome overwhelming you? Well, first of all, realise that you're not alone. It's something that many of us struggle with. But here are two suggestions. First of all is to reframe your thinking. I talk a lot in the Teach Performance Programme about shifting paradigms. Paradigms are the ways we see the world. You can reframe the feeling when you feel like an imposter away from some kind of symptom of failure into recognising it for what I think it is, which is a desire to improve. It's a mark of your quest for excellence. So listen to it. It's encouraging you to go further. It's not a symptom of some kind of failure. It's a symptom of your humility and your curiosity. You're not a fraud, but you haven't yet completed your learning journey. And frankly, I hope you never will. And the second thing is this. Often if I'm struggling, it's a symptom that somewhere deep down in my deep mind, I know that I don't know enough. So I listen to it and I go and find out more. I mean, I know quite a lot. I've been teaching a long time, but I don't know everything. And then if I come across something that says I don't know enough, go and find out. Use it as a goad to deeper learning. I honour my insecurity by seeking to improve. One of the intentions behind the Teach Performance programme is precisely that, to give artists, teachers a place of learning we can return to repeatedly to deepen, sharpen and evolve our work. It's a place that when you are lost, as we all get lost from time to time, you can go back and dig deeper into the why and how of teaching performance. When I asked my senior friend how he dealt with feelings of being an imposter, he smiled and shrugged and said, well, I know it's not true, though in some ways, of course, it is true. So I just 
put up with it and get on with trusting the teaching that I do. It seems to have worked well enough so far. Only you can do what you can do. And what you can do is exactly what someone needs. So never lose faith in your intrinsic genius.